once overshadowed by the rise of mega book chains and online bookstores. Small bookstores are making a comeback with a strong sense of identity and warmth that big businesses don't possess. What made them survive a David and Goliath style battle against chain bookstores? This store is located in a trendy neighborhood in Seoul that is popular with young people. At a glance, the place looks like any other cafe, but the walls are covered with bookshelves full of interesting reads. At this bookstore, visitors need to first purchase a book to sit down and read it. They can also buy coffee or beverages to enjoy while reading. I like that I can buy and read a book I want and enjoy beverages at the same time. This is another bookstore located at the heart of the Gangnam area, Seoul. Friday night is when most bookstores close. But here, it is when the fun starts. I saw a post on Booktik's social media account about the midnight bookstore program on Fridays. I came with my boyfriend to stay up all night reading. The midnight bookstore program runs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next morning. At a 10 U.S. dollar admission, visitors can pull an all-nighter reading books in peace and quiet. They can also help themselves with soft drinks and beer. There are many office workers in the Gangnam area. They deserve a break after a busy week of overtime work and company dinners. We wanted them to indulge in books instead of alcohol on Friday nights. The bookstore has been trending on social media as a must-visit in the Gangnam district, where small bookstores have become a rarity. In addition to selling books, the store hosts book readings, reviews, and discussions. The selection of books is important, but we are focusing more on the readers, the people. We have the space to coordinate different activities to help them create a community and involve non-readers. Following the advent of online bookstores, offering generous discounts and the decline of the publishing industry in the 2000s, brick-and-mortar bookstores have been disappearing. The number of bookstores in Korea plummeted from about 5,500 in 1995 to 1,500 in 2015. Small bookstores were the hardest hit. The share of small bookstores operating on less than 66 square meters fell from 51.9% in 2005 to 32.4% in 2015. What small bookstores needed the most was a unique sense of identity that would set them apart from book chains. Small bookstores in the U.S. or Europe organize a bi-local campaign. They attract customers with a specialized collection of books. Above all, they focus on their role as community cultural centers to stay competitive. Small bookstores are enjoying a revival thanks to their warm and friendly atmosphere that is often hard to find at mega book chains. They serve as a community gathering spot for author events or book discussions. Instead of focusing solely on bestsellers, these stores offer thoughtfully selected titles that reflect the tastes and preferences of the owner. Hidden in a dark alley in Seoul is a small independent bookstore owned by Kim Jong-hyun. The store sells both books and alcohol. About 80% of the store's selection is titles published by small presses or individuals like Kim himself. The remaining 20% is books that Kim wants to recommend to potential readers. There are no bestsellers in sight, but the cozy bookstore has created an intimate community for neighbors who share the same interests as the owner. The long table in the middle of the store is a symbol of this place. People who come here share similar tastes, so I like interacting with them in events organized here like movie screenings or book discussions. I like how this place has something that you can't find elsewhere. Kim's store is among the growing number of independent bookstores that offer rare titles and a themed collection of books. Their number has doubled in the past two years. Some believe these stores could bring a renaissance of small mom-and-pop bookstores. 
For the latest independent bookstore boom to take root as a culture, we need the places that sell independent publications and where readers can interact with one another. This could create consumers and content producers. The virtual cycle can help lay the foundation. Independent bookstores are springing up, but I don't see them as competition. It's a great sign that we can start a culture. Small bookstores have transformed into a cultural space with personality. It would be interesting to watch if they can provide just the boost that the publishing industry needs.